hello welcome today we'll be making these delicious beef kebabs that i can't wait for you guys to try if you're stopping by for the first time please consider subscribing and let's get started One ingredient that I've not used is breadcrumbs, but if you want your kebabs to be very, very compact, please include that. I have coriander, flour, ground beef that is about more than half a kilo. I have eggs and also I have garlic and ginger paste. And I also have chopped onions here. For the spices, please do not feel limited to use what I'm using. You can always switch up with what you want. I have paprika, black pepper, cumin, and a little bit of garam masala. The first step we are going to beat our eggs next step take your pan pot or sufuria add a little bit of oil and fry the onions until they are translucent next go ahead to add in your garlic and ginger and fry them as well next go ahead to add in your spices and cook them for about a minute so that they release that beautiful flavor Once that is done, set it aside. Now we'll work on our ground beef. Go ahead to add some salt to season it. Then we're going to add in the fried onion that we had set aside. Followed by your coriander and if you're using breadcrumbs, also add them at this stage. Let's go ahead to use a wooden spoon to mix everything up if the onions are still hot and then proceed to mix everything with your hands it's much easier and better once everything is well mixed up it's time for us to mold the ground beef into cylindrical shape or the kebab shape that we know of a quick tip that i would like to give you you might see my hands are wet i have a bowl of water next to me i wet my hands as i mold the beef this gives it a smooth finish and it also helps the beef not to stick in your hands and this is a tip that you can use as well when you're doing meatballs sizes of your kebabs will depend according to your preference sometimes i do mini ones but on this particular day i wanted to get done in the kitchen as fast as possible and i did a little bit bigger sizes Next, it's time to do the first step and that is to coat it with your flour. Once that is done, it's time to coat it with your egg wash. The next step is where we deep fry the kebabs but also that is where the work is you do not deep fry once but you can do two to three times or even four times according to how fluffy you want your kebabs. This first deep frying, we are not supposed to cook the kebab completely, it's just to bind the egg. You also don't want the egg to completely cook or brown or darken. And you can see they're not looking that quite pleasant and that is what you're going for. You can see how it looks, it's not that fluffy, so we are going to coat it for the second time with the egg wash. You can make this your last coating but I will do one more time and that gives me the fluffiness that I like. After this, I will coat it one last time and then the last deep frying, I'll let it cook completely. So you can do three or four coats, but three works well for me. This will also be my last deep frying and you can see the results. There you have the kebabs. They came out fluffy just like I like them and the aroma was so beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe and I want you guys to show you the inside as well. You can see how easy it is to slice and it is not so compact and that's how I like it as well. As you can see our egg coating has given that beautiful golden brown color on the outside and on the inside it is not brown or burnt because we were not completely cooking it when we were coating and that is the importance of doing it step by step and letting the kebab completely cook only when you are done with the coatings i really hope you did enjoy this recipe if you liked it please share it with your friends and family Till next time bye bye